Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Yeah, KGR, welcome to my YouTube channel. A little cold in New York City today. It's a little cold, about 40 degrees. A little above 40 degrees. But anyway, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is KG. Today, what do we have here? 2012 Jeep Compass. There's a, apparently there's a code to diagnose a car in AutoZone. Then the code came up, which is code P0038. It's talking about the oxygen sensor. The bank one, the sensor two. Bank one, sensor two. So we're gonna be replacing the bank one sensor two on this vehicle. So this is the part number that you got botched. And this is the oxygen sensor right here. So I'm gonna bring you guys along how to do this job. This is a four cylinder. So the bank one is on top right here, which I'm you about can to see. Show. This is the bank one right here. Let me get that leave out of the way. So the bank two is gonna be the dance train, which we have to jack the car up as you guys know walk outside to be able to get to that uh taken care of. So right now, you know me, KG. Let's go. We're getting it right now. So this is the oxygen sensor that we're after. As you guys know, I walk on the street. So you're gonna jack the car really high. And uh, what I like to use, I like to use the six songs uh, and jack stand. I'll show you in a little while. The reason why, you know, I wanna be safe while, on, while I'm under the, underneath the car, cause you are responsible for your own safety. So you wanna make sure that uh, you put a good jack stand on it so that when you're underneath the car so you don't have to worry about anything so that's what i normally do once i'm underneath the car i don't use a three tug i use a six tug jack stand so that's the guy we're after so the connector come through this side right here and it come down here as a connector that's where it's going right here see it connector go right here so i already unplug it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, break this guy loose. So I have a, a tooth that I normally use for oxygen sensor. Let me see if that will work very well here. KG, I'll bring you back, bring you guys back once I broke it. So like I was saying before, you see, what I'm using to break the, uh, this guy loose in the extension. So what is good about this oxygen sensor uh, tooth, you can put it on top to break it, or you can put it at the bottom so the holes up or down either way so that was what i did i see as i got a guy because it's in a little tight spot there but once you have the right tools you should be fine let me take that off and uh, that was what i did break it loose already wasn't that too difficult to break loose you just have to have the right tools I believe now can use a can use a 22 flat. My light just keep falling apart there. Uh, we can use a 22 flat now. Once you break it loose, can go ahead and use a flat. So I'll so do that. I'm just taking it off. Guys. Just, just got it broke loose. Take that off and we'll bring you guys back. Uh, I'm feeling broken. What's the other sensor right there? Yeah, that's right there. I'm going to match it up with the new one. Let's see what we got. So look at the two sensors there. We'll look at the connector. That was the first thing I always look at. <coughs> Make sure the connectors are the same. Connectors look like they're quite the same. 
Okay. Uh, this one have a bigger hole here, see? You can see that? And this one have a, yeah, there's a, <clears throat> there's a big difference. I don't know if you guys can notice that. See over here, this groove here, see, it's tiny. See this groove here? It's big, this one is wide. So, <clears throat> though they're the same pin, and the wire of this is a little longer. So when I go underneath, and uh, one thing I do notice as well, mm -hmm. you, see. you can tell, right? See this one, how well. So apparently, you guys know, I showed you guys the sensor earlier on, but that was the wrong one. So this is the right one right there. 23161 NTK. So if you look at this, because I show you guys earlier on, when I take off that, you see the way this one, the mat look? So this is the right one, and you look at the length, they're both the same. So that's one thing when you're getting this oxygen sensor, just make sure you pick up the right one. And if you look at the groove, right, you see the other one was wider. But this one is just right at the money. Right? So we're going to go back in there. We got the right one. Just make sure you get the right one. Okay, G. So the new one is back in there. So when, you, when you're putting it back in, the only problem when you're turning it, just make sure you turn the wire with it. Because, you know, when, you, when you're trying to screw it in, you keep going back. Just make sure you turn the wire, the connector with it. And once you do that, it should be fine. So it's back the in tools there. I use as a part number is good for oxygen sensor. As a system jack standard I use whenever I'm underneath the car. Let me take my light off. All right, that's it on this episode. Question, comment, like, dislike, whatnot. <laughs> KG, I'll see you on my next episode. Peace. Brooklyn, we are gone.